It is hard, because, oh my god. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Retro Gaming with Warp Jester. Again, uh, Cosmic is with me. We're uh, still hanging out here in Diablo 2. We're talking about the good old days and bing, some of the good stuff we did, some of the fun we've had. Um, just kind of getting around here. It's fine. I'm still used to hitting the wrong key. I keep hitting the swad thing. I'm going to move around. And I keep forgetting this. <laughs> this is a point and click game. You want to go this way? Yeah, click up there. That's how you do it. So, uh, oh, yeah, I leveled up. Wow, what have I been looking? You're already level four. I am so hoopty. Okay, so energy. I need energy because energy gives me mana, and I've already, already run into the problem of no mana, no mana for you, no magic arrows for you. Sorry, get lost. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that. Now, I don't get another uh, thing I can do until level six. I'm just going to hang on to my, my skills here for now. Got my uh, inventory I for inventory, not E. Hi, Minecraft. Uh, Town Portal. You know, I don't even know why I have strangling gas. I, I'm never, I don't use that stuff. I don't know. I will. Yeah, I get rid of that crap too. I'm gonna check on somebody maybe. <laughs> I'm pop back through this portal here since it's yours, so that way I don't get left behind. Oh, I forgot. There's a waypoint right outside the door. You can just use that. <laughs> Oh well, hey, now I've got a waypoint. So well, it's not always there, is it? Yeah, you actually, I believe the the first one is always like right there, to kind of get you familiar with it. Just kind of head up the edge here and just kind of check things out. So, uh, oh, 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 hi there, how's it going? You need to die now. Thank you. <laughs> ah, these big old guys, love them so much. Um, yeah, I. I <laughs> <laughs> it's I I I'm, I'm actually kind of enjoying this a little bit. It's been a long, long time. Oh, how's it going? Been a long, long time. I actually uh, a little while ago, I did some uh, live streaming with uh, Path of Exile. Definitely got that Diablo to feel to it. Uh, of course, a little bit more modernized since it's a much newer game, but it was actually really enjoyable. And then I think one of the attributes I liked about it was the skill tree is kind of a I want to say universal skill tree. All the skills are laid out on a big, giant, huge map, if you will. And everybody... Ooh, that's Topaz. I heard that. Um, I took that. <laughs> I hit that. But basically, uh, you had the ability to have everybody everywhere starts at a different point on that, that skill tree. But ultimately, you could end up getting all the same skills if you happen to maneuver over to it. It's a little hard to explain, but... Look it up. Just look up Path of Exile skill tree. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. That was kind of neat. So I really, I really kind of like that. Um, so that that's a that's a more modern game. It's kind of a, a take on this style of game that I really enjoy. And I know there's, I'm sure there's plenty of other, you know, Diablo type clones. Of course, there's Diablo three. I tried playing Diablo three. Um, it, it just there's nothing, nothing bad I can point to about it or anything like that. I just could not get into it. I don't know why. I don't know what was going on at the time, but I just it just wasn't it wasn't what I expected. You're gonna have to me. try it again. That's an awesome game. Oh, I'm sure, but I mean, I don't, I don't have. Oh, jeez, man, they're just arrowing me to death here. Woo! Let's uh, heal up there a bit. Oh god, I'm just gonna join you here because I'm getting shot. The kingdom coming back. <laughs> It's about time to go ahead and fill up on that monitor there, because if I go back in north here, there's a there's a pile of hate up there. <laughs> um, well, we can go up there. Oh god, there they are. Danger Ranger, Danger Ranger. <laughs> not enough mana. Oh yeah, not enough mana always. Oh, that's why there's a. Uh... Ooh, she's healing too. But, uh, I can't see their life. Is there a way to see their life? <laughs> Hold on. Hold that thought. Damn. Man, she got a bad attitude. Uh, not so much the bosses have that little kind of life bar overlay on their name. 
Oh, will you die already? But, uh, yeah, I can put Frost on the bottom there. <laughs> Holy Moses. Uh, see, look, I lost my train of thought. You know, it's funny, when, you, when, you, when you're, you're running for your life, you kind of forget what you're talking about. It's kind of sad. <laughs> um, oh, so Diablo 3, I mean, it, it was, I mean, I'm sure it's interesting. It's just, I, I didn't end up buying it, and I just don't have, really don't have much money to really spare right now. Uh, so I haven't really gone out of my way to try to get new games to play. I've got, I've got so many damn games I really should try out a little further than, yeah, I'll check it out for a few games and then I kind of put it away and stop playing it. it. It's kind of ridiculous how many games I've got in that sense. And most of them are like Steam games are either free to play or they're gifted to me by other, uh, Bar Rocket Gaming members. And, you know, usually I will graciously accept the offer to you know take a game key with the understanding that i'm going to be there to record with them you know so it's worth their while in that sense um so i try to make some time to do that and one of the games that i ended up getting gifted by uh, ruark 88 was uh, gmod and that was a surprisingly fun mod that I or a fun, a fun game that I did not expect. I, I, would, I would have never looking at. It. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Assassin has shot the food. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, man! It just whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. I have oh, to run shit. back. Oh, don't whoop! No, no, bad. It's it's those uh those those heavy duty. Hitters, man. They're... Oh, sheep! Dip. Sheep dip. <laughs> sheep dip. Oh, it looks like someone else died, too. <laughs> corpse run. Corpse run! <laughs> Has anybody seen my corpse? <laughs> oh, no, there's... There, there is an enjoyable, uh... Enjoyable memory from uh, EverQuest. Uh, go go to YouTube and look it up. Uh, has anyone seen my corpse? Especially if anybody's ever, if you've ever played EverQuest One, you will very much enjoy <laughs> enjoy that video. Matter of fact, if you play EverQuest One, you don't know that video. I'm, I'm kind of ashamed of you. The other uh, the other icon I seem to remember is um, oh god, was it a skateboarding gnome or something like that? Skater gnome. <laughs> Those were hilarious. Yeah, Skater Gnome were some great uh, forum posts. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you need to go away. Seriously, you're, you're, you're a nasty... Who is it? I don't like you. <laughs> no! Wrong one! <laughs> wrong button! From Distractor! <laughs> I gotta get my body still. <laughs> oh, gosh, she's fast. Oh, jeez! Stop shooting at me for minutes so I can shoot at you! No fair, she's using her minion as a sh- Oh! Jesus! Wow, this is not working out so well. Uh, oh crap. Yep, yeah, this is me leaving. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Skater, Skater Gnome was uh, some great forum posts. I, I, at first, I really was not- you know, I'm just like, why would you actually watch this or read this? And, and Cosmic was just- elated with it and I finally started giving me the chance and just after that I was just like started cracking up. It was just amazing. Oh nope 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 you can die now. Um but yeah it was it was it was just these funny random posts and it was just fun. I, I, I can't explain it you have to kinda of go see it kind of a thing. Um but uh those were those were some good some good times. <laughs> so yeah if 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 you ever Want to have some fun or know that the that them their history of uh, you know EverQuest and just kind of the lineage of the old days of gaming, uh, Skater Gnome and uh, Have you seen my corpse? Has anyone has, has anyone seen my corpse? Whew. Okay, so ugly and nasty woman is down finally. <laughs> Dude, she kicked our butts. Yeah, that was. It was like four shots and you were toast. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, so they, They're five points in vitality. <laughs> <laughs> up in the, uh, up in the vital. I, I need to do some more energy. I, I I hate being squishy, but man, just four shots on the arrows and my mana's gone is just not, 
not good. Not good at all. <laughs> Oop, hi there. You can die, you can die. Get lost. Oh, there's a scroll of identify. Never pass up a scroll of identify. They're always useful. Take a lot of space to get your books. But, uh, yeah, those are, those are good times. Now, this game here didn't quite have the... That, I, th I think that's one of the things that really kind of drew me to EverQuest. Is Diablo, Diablo 2 is a great game. It's fun. But it did not have the... I don't know what the word is for it. But just the... the, 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 the well, the fan fiction, the, 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 what am I looking for? The, the... <laughs> Fracken <Frankenstein> Deutsch. <laughs> just, I mean, people, people were just so diehard. You know, you had all kinds of fanfic and personality and, and memes. It was amazing. And that's just kind of one of those things that kind of drew you even further into it was the fact that you had that, that, uh, uh, that personality. You know, people, people knew it. The games are certainly not perfect. I mean, EverQuest, EverQuest One had its flaws, has its flaws, and it's still around amazingly. <laughs> Here we are. We've got EverQuest Two, and we also have EverQuest uh, Next coming very soon. Well, very soon. I use that use that term a little bit loosely. <laughs> yeah, EverQuest One and its twenty plus expansions. Yeah, I, it's amazing how much crap they got going on. Um, but uh, it was it was actually it was it was impressive. Uh, the lineage it has, but that said, you get to a point where it's just like other games are coming out, and 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 to be fair, in the course of EverQuest, you know, people talk about, oh yeah, well, EverQuest is fine, but you know, WoW totally whooped its ass. Well, yeah, but you know, WoW had somebody to follow and learn from, and a lot of other games came before WoW, and none of them took the crown. So EverQuest has had a good long life in that regard. So I, I give it respect. I've I've gone back to it and uh, tried to play it <laughs> by about a year ago, and I won't lie, it was <laughs> it was obnoxiously painful. <laughs> My God, <laughs> it was just it was one of those things. Like, uh, imagine this for a moment here. Yeah, you know, everybody's so used to the games played now, like WoW and um, uh, oh God, where's some of the other ones? I'm, I'm blinking so bad. And, wow, EverQuest 2 and, and all these other MMOs, Wildstar, etc. You know, quest items and quest quest givers. They have little icons above their head and you go click on them against a little menu that you can click OK and this and that. EverQuest 1 didn't have that. You walked up to a, a, a mob that you had to know was a quest-giving mob and then you had to sit there. Oh, you dirty face in the butts. Um, you, whoa, 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 no likey likey. Um, you had to know that, that was a, a, a quest giver, and you had to hit the H key for hail. Oh, geez, that was good timing. And you had to, uh, uh, basically read the text that they spoke, and then go through and, uh, type the word in brackets. It's like, hey, I, I cannot find my father. You type in father because that was the, the word in brackets. Uh, ouch. And uh, you have to go through and uh, basically follow that 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 kind of... Some of the quest givers, my God, they blabbed on forever. You think they were lonely or something. <laughs> and you had to type in the right word. You had to type it right because you typed it wrong. You, you, know, you were kind of hosed. And you go through all that and then... You know, you'd like turn an item in. If you turn the item in at the wrong time, uh, or in the wrong order, you would eat the item. Which is, you know, some of the items were easy to get. But some of the items <laughs> were pain in the ass. And oh my god, somebody's trying to do their epic quest, and they put the wrong item in the wrong time, and it eats the item. And <laughs> that was crap. I'm <laughs> glad I never did that. <laughs> there, there were words. <laughs> there were words. But. Uh... So yeah, it, it was it was not a uh, it was not like I say it was not a friendly game for you, but uh, but again it, it was it was fun and it was it was hard. And EverQuest One was known to be grindy. You you did a lot of time just sitting in a group, doing nothing but killing mobs over and over again in the same exact spot. I mean EverQuest One is where you know grinding kind of <laughs> where grinding became a thing. Uh, I I I can remember sitting in uh, the HHK. 
in the uh, the two different rooms, like the like lookout room or whatever it was in the guard room. But uh, you sit there for you get you get on a waiting list, and this is this is how you know games back then before you had those wonderful little queuing systems and whatnot. You had people that, for the love of the game, would actually sit there and they they'd come down, they'd see if there's like this little little zone, this little area. They had two different places you could sit to to farm mobs. And if nobody was there, they'd call to try to get a group together, and you you got a group together just by yelling in zone wide shout to get people's attention, and you get up to six people together in a group, and then you would just sit there and farm things. And people came in and said, "Hey, I'm looking for a group." You'd simply say, "Well, we're full right now, but we'll put you on the list." And somebody would sit there with you know a pen and pencil next to or a pen and paper next to them on their desk, would write down your name, and would let you know. When uh, the group became, you know, when there's a spot in your group, and that's that's how you know, it was in the old days, kids. <laughs> that's that's what you did. And that was pretty much everywhere. One thing I will give uh, EverQuest, original EverQuest, credit for is the epic raids. None, none, none of this, none of this, 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 this hokey, you know, six ten person quote unquote guild raid crap. There were there were EverQuest raids that we're talking upwards of a hundred people have gotten together for this kind of a thing. I mean that's how epic some of these things were, and and they were some complex. They were some complex um, uh, rage had to go on. I mean the the, the order and how, how you had to do stuff. It was it was challenging. It was actually you know reasonably challenging to be careful about. It. There's one particular one I remember that. You had this particular mob that, just in order to get to the main character, it's like in the, the plane of whatever, you had like, I think it was like 12 different mobs that you had to basically get all their life down kind of equally so you could kill them all within like 30 seconds of each other or something silly like that. And if you didn't do it right, it would just, you, you'd, you'd nuke the whole group. <laughs> I don't miss the original raids there at all. <laughs> Getting 50 people all together, and then it's like, okay, everyone, we're going to have the log out queue now. Log back in so you don't wear off your buffs. And oh my God, that sucked. It, you know, it, it, I, it, I, I don't know. I, I want to be fair here, people. Uh, Cosmic did a lot more raiding than I ever did. He was, he got into the big, he was good. He was good at what he did. And he got into the big raiding guilds. And, it, and it, like you just heard him, you know, one of those raids, like, 50 people in a group to do these kind of raids. So there was no small task. I, I didn't get the chance to go on nearly as many as he did. So he knows what he's talking about in that regard. I am overburdened. I am funny. Ooh, look, a chest. Anything good? Quilted armor. Gold, gold, gold. A weapon I can use, but I can't pick it up because I'm overburdened. Yeah, I need to get some of the damage crap out of my damn system. So I keep, like, the wand and stuff around the daggers. Yeah, not that really critical to me. God, I've got enough freaking potions to choke a horse. I have some stamina. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trade out some of the better balls of mana and let the other ones go. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of feeling that's a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have to keep throwing everything on the ground, picking it up on the ground. Yeah, I'm just going to go back to town. Good plan, good plan. So, but yeah, I mean, it, it, the, the, you know, it, it was it was complex, it was hard. But yet, though, again, it, I, it's one of those things of, it's amazing we have a much smaller community back then of doing these MMOs. The, you, to give you an idea of the personality of these things, we're talking about, um, like, on our, our, our um, server was Moral Fool on uh, EverQuest, and you'd actually have the EverQuest, this EverQuest forums that somebody set up. It wasn't actually part of the actual uh, uh, EverQuest site. And on these forums, you had uh, a forum section for each of the different servers they had. And they had a lot of servers back then, because again, this was the biggest, most popular server ever. And uh, um, on those forums, people were actually organized and polite enough that you have things happen like, for example, if there is a particular raid mob that once it's dead, it can take days or even a week before it respawns again. And all of these different guilds 
on this game, on this server, would actually coordinate and be friendly about saying, hey, we, you know what, we need to kill this boss, but you know what? Uh, Triyu already has this plan for this day, so we're going to take the next week when it spawns kind of a thing. So the, 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 this is how the community was. People were, were uh, actually friendly and organized and, and willing to, uh, to do what we do to help each other out. So that's, that's, that's uh, a, a bit different of a personality than it is nowadays. Nowadays, I really don't think the community is there. Cosmic can call me on this if he likes, but I just I feel like there was a, there was a little bit a little more tight-knit community back then. It had to be. Nowadays, everything's your own guild's stuff. You don't have to fight for mobs anymore. Yeah. I just... I, I, I just think it's, it, it's just... Uh, I, I, I wish there was a way to, to kind of rekindle uh, that personality, if you will. Because it, it 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 really is kind of a lost a lost thing, you know. It was it was amazing back in the day when you could actually have that kind of organization. People were were actually, you know, you, you saw you jerks. But people were actually kind for the most part. They're helpful, um, but you, you definitely did have your standout people. I I can't remember the guy's name anymore. But man, there was this one guy that was like a monk or something, and he was just the biggest tool in the world and he just he, he would make everybody's life miserable he'd train groups all the time with mobs he'd cause all kinds of problems but he'd end up getting reported and you know especially on the forums and everything else and he got end up getting banned so this, this is the part where I, I i wrestle with things because it's like i i want to just sell these items but i kind of want to identify them first yeah, I was identifying everything and then selling it. Well, it's like like this, you know, this dagger here. It's a blue unidentified dagger that's value is 30 unidentified. Or I can buy a scroll of identified for 80 just to see what just it might be. Just buy it. All right. Even if it sells for less than what you could have got without buying it, just buy it. Okay, so the dagger was 30. I spent 80 at Cosmic's recommendation, and now I can sell it for 77. Thanks a lot, Cosmic. I told you, even if you lose money, just do it. Yeah, well, this 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 uh, sorcerer's um, scepter is, or wand or whatever. Actually, this is a eagle. Or, I don't know what the hell. Anyways, it's worth three ninety nine unidentified. Right? Actually, I know this is just regular. That's what it is. So, yeah, that's a good chunk of change right there. Hey, I like it. So now I've got my tome of identifying tome of. Uh, uh, portal, town portal, so not to have so much space taken up with uh, that garbage. And I'm really thinking... God, I've got so much garbage. Oy. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Get rid of that. Start being able to think, wow, they have several uh, gems. Alright, so anyways, yeah, that, that, that's kind of how I feel about it, and I about EverQuest One is a good. It was a good game. I enjoyed it. It was good times. <laughs> I am going to go ahead and leave off there, however, and say thank you once again for hanging with us and rocking down memory lane. Um, I find it funny because I'll sit here and play this retro game and talk about another one, which uh, you know probably for the best because there's there's just no way in hell I'm going to be able to do a retro of uh, EverQuest. I, I might someday do like one little you know, episode of just walking down memory lane looking at my old characters, but there's no way I can play that game anymore. It's just... Oh, oh God, no. <laughs> I love it, but I... Oh, no. It, 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 it's kind of like that ugly child. You know, it's your kid, you love him, but you're not going to go bragging about him. <laughs> Anyways, peeps, as always, I appreciate your time, appreciate you hanging out with me. So... Take care. Stay happy. I'll catch you later. Ciao.